now we come to the topic called the balanced and the unbalanced forces okay we just discussed that it is the force which which causes the motion now do all forces cause motion let us try to discuss that say let there be a be a surface here okay and on this surface let there be let an object be resting over this surface okay let's say this is a block of wood which rests here right now what happens say i attach a thread okay i attach a thread which i draw in green i attach a thread to this and and that thread on this side is like this okay let us let us name this string x and this as y okay now if i see if i if i pull hmm, if if string x is pulled pulled with sufficient force then the object moves to the left is it not to the left now if string y is pulled then the object moves to the right right fine so it it, it actually supports our observation that whenever force is applied things move now if i if i if i hold both the strings and pull them in opposite directions one on this side and the other on this then what should happen if if both strings are pulled with equal force in opposite directions in with equal force in opposite direction then what happens then then the the block then the object okay then the object doesn't move it doesn't move so what has happened there must be there must be something that means the always the application of force always does not lead to motion okay okay why has this happened why have they not moved because the resultant of the force of the forces is zero yes because the resultant of the forces is zero force as 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 you learn later is a vector quantity it has a magnitude it has a it has a it has a, a, a strength and a direction okay so so then the object does not move so what does it mean in such cases when we are applying forces and the force is still not leading to any of the effects that we normally expect these forces will be called balanced forces okay so what is happening does not move why because the resultant of the two forces because the resultant of the two forces is equal to zero okay such forces whose resultant is equal to zero such forces 
whose resultant is equal to zero such forces whose resultant is equal to zero are called balanced forces are called balanced forces fine they are called balanced forces okay okay they are called balanced forces fine now let us let us see another situation let us say there is a there is a block there is a carton right and there is a carton and it is being pushed by say one man so let us say okay so someone is trying to push it fine so someone is trying to push it like this then what happens suppose it is so heavy then in spite of his applying the forces suppose the carton is not moving okay carton is not moving then as we discussed here it, there must be a balanced force then there must be a balanced force now if there is a balanced force i do not see anyone on this side also pushing it back so from where has it come okay from where has the opposing force come so that the resultant becomes zero and our experience here says that if the forces are equal and opposite then only they are balanced normally when there are two forces right when there are three forces they may be at 120 degree equal and they'll again balance okay and when there are four forces they'll be at 90 degree and they'll balance and there are so many other ways to balance fine don't worry so so what is balancing here what what we see here is is it is it is actually our experience says that if it was resting on a smooth surface maybe this amount of pull would have push would have would have actually resulted into motion but and and if it is rougher and rougher a surface is it is more difficult to to push this object so so there was there is a thing called friction that we define right and we call it a force that is a friction is a force theek hai it is a force that acts that acts between the surfaces between the surfaces friction is a force that acts between the surfaces it is a surface phenomena is it not it's a surface phenomena so it must be the friction that is the culprit so this fellow is applying a force in this direction but to counter him maybe there is a frictional force that acts that acts here between the between the bottom of the carton and the floor on which it is resting fine so it is that which must have led to an opposing force and that's why these two are balanced and hence not able to move now what i do fine this fellow this fellow is pushing with some force not able to move 
I ask him to increase the force. Okay, you push harder. Okay, so so I say you push harder. So, so he obeys. He says, okay, fine. I am pushing harder. Okay, so what happens? This is a fellow. Right? And he pushes harder. Okay? So what happens? This force becomes more. Now still if he is not able to push it, then what happens? It means that the opposing friction force has also increased. Somehow friction also increases. Also increases. Okay? The friction also increases. Then I ask him to push still harder with all his might or maybe, maybe if he is not able to do, I bring him some assistance. I bring him some assistance. So, so this time, this time, this time, Maybe there is a man who is pushing here and there is the other one who is, there is the other one who is also pushing here. So two of them now pushing it. Now that makes this increase to a very very high value while the friction somehow remains at this very maximum. So you understand what is happening? It seems as if friction is a living being. You are pushing, this is also pushing. You push with a small force, it is also pushing you with a small force. You understand? Then what happens? You increase the force, the friction also increases the force. So, so if this is your force, if this is your force, okay, I am just showing the forces, this is friction's force. So, so the friction is absolutely opposing you. Equal and opposite. That's why you are not able to move. Here, you increase the force, the friction also increases. The friction also increases. Okay, here if you increase your force more, maybe something like this, the friction has a limit to which it can increase. So, so it remains only this much. That's why this is, as you learn later, this is termed as limiting friction. This is termed as limiting friction because there is a limit to that friction. It will reach a maximum and then it will stop it cannot go beyond that fine so so maybe it happens something like this you apply you apply the force you increase the force you further increase the force you further increase the force what happens A and this we are doing a bit gradually okay so we increase the force it opposes we increase the force it opposes we increase the force it opposes and a point comes when we increase the force, but the friction is not able to increase, so it stays there only. And this value, now if you, if you further increase the force, if you further say, no, I am applying this much, friction says, there is a limit to me, I won't increase. This stays, you see? So in first three cases it increased, later two, it remained the same. 
okay so later people came to know that the box is not at rest because it wants to be at rest but because of a force that was not visible to us this here was the friction force fine so so um, there is a limit uh, the box doesn't move with increasing force because the opposing frictional force also increases because the opposing frictional force also increases and forms a balanced a balanced pair it forms a balanced pair okay it forms a balanced pair ठीक है नाउ बियॉन्ड अ सर्टन लिमिट द फ्रिक्शनल फोर्स डजन इंक्रीज इवन दो the frictional force doesn't increase even though the applied force increases okay this value of friction is called the limiting friction this value of frictional force is called is called limiting friction this is called limiting friction okay so gradually it started becoming clear to the people that even when they could not see there is a force that is acting and it is not due to the natural state it is not due to the laziness of the objects that they are not moving rather there is a definite reason why they are doing so we understand the point fine